Hey guys, welcome to my 14 week bump date baby update. I am 14 weeks. I feel like time is just going so fast. I am officially in my second trimester, which is just crazy to think like, wow, I'm like a third of the way done with this pregnancy. It's just crazy. So this week, well, there's a couple things that baby is the size of, but the funniest thing that the baby is the size of is a troll doll which I thought was hilarious. I'll show you guys on my Ovia app um, the picture that they provide because that is so funny. This is what it says. It says it's the size of a troll doll. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> um, other things that it's the size of, it's also the size of a house mouse. I don't like mice. It's also the size of Napoleon, and it's also the size of a beet, or on my Baby Center app it has something different. So I have lots of things to compare it to. On my Baby Center app it's the size of a lemon, so it's getting bigger. This week baby's kidneys are starting to function and process urine. Um, it's moving a lot. The baby is able to grimace and make different facial expressions. Um, I feel like I've felt baby here and there, but I, I haven't like confirmed it yet because like I can't tell if it's gas or if it's actually baby. I'll just feel like tapping here and there, but I can't tell if it's baby or not. So this week I stopped taking the Unisom and the B6 vitamin. I stopped taking the Unisom first and then a couple days later I stopped taking the B6 vitamin. My nausea for the most part is gone. Um, I still will get a day here or there in the evening where I'm not feeling the greatest, but for the most part the nausea has lifted, which is really awesome and makes sense like I'm in my second trimester now. Um, but I do find that now that I've stopped taking the Unisom, it's harder for me to fall asleep and stay asleep. I've been waking up a lot more throughout the night, um, whether it be a scary dream or I just hear something or I have to pee and then it takes me forever to fall back asleep. So I kind of miss taking the Unisom, um, but I don't want it to be like a habit. And it says on the bottle that it's not habit forming, but I just feel like with me, I would make it a habit, so I'm just gonna stay away from it. But I have noticed that since I stopped taking it, I've actually been like awake during the day. I've not had to have coffee to keep me awake. I've not had to take naps. So it was definitely the unison that was affecting my drowsiness during the day. So I feel so much better. I've been having a lot more saliva lately, which is not fun. I still have a ton of acne on my face. I feel like that's just gonna be the whole pregnancy. Um, I feel like I only got a little, when I was pregnant the first time, I only had a little bit of acne and that was in the very beginning. This time it's just like continuous acne. I've been having more random dreams um, than the past couple weeks, so they have been crazy dreams. I've been shedding a lot of hair, which is weird because I, during my first pregnancy and what I read about pregnancy is you tend to retain your hair and then you lose it all once the baby's born. But I find that I've been shedding a lot of hair. I find it like in the shower drain all the time. So that's been interesting. I haven't really had any cravings at all. No. The big thing this week is I have finally given in and moved over to pregnancy clothes. Um, uh, maternity clothes I guess you could say. I wear my maternity jeans now and I don't know why I was putting it off because they are so comfy. They're so stretchy. My old jeans, like the button was like strained. I was not able to fit in those anymore and these pregnancy jeans are so much better now. Um, tops I can go with or without. This is a maternity top um, but I can also wear a regular tops too so I kind of just like switch on and off. I have been um, feeling like kind of crampy where my uterus is at times or just like really bloated um, so that's kind of taken over instead of the nausea. I've not had any heartburn yet. I know it's coming but I haven't had it. There will also be a couple days where my back will really be hurting um, which I do have a belly band that I wore with my last pregnancy because I had a lot of back issues but so far I have not needed that yet. I could see it coming though. The big thing going on in the world right now is the coronavirus. 
Um, I'm not too worried about being pregnant during this time. There's no indication that the coronavirus has a negative effect on pregnancy. They had a group of Chinese women um, who all had the virus when they were pregnant and then they gave birth to the babies and the babies did not test positive for coronavirus and the breast milk also was free of coronavirus. So I'm not worried about it. I do get tired really easily. Like I'll be tired for bed at like 10 o'clock, 9.30 at night. Um, but it's not as bad as when I was taking that Unisom. My belly is definitely bigger. I'll just try and show you guys. I have to like kneel on the bed, but yeah, this shirt is like not very tight, but I do have a belly. It is getting bigger. Still kind of in that in-between phase of people wondering if I'm pregnant or fat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can definitely tell that my belly is bigger. Um, since the beginning, I've been putting on um, stretch mark lotion. I have stretch marks on my sides from when I was pregnant with Grayson, so I just apply it there and on the front of my tummy. I never got stretch marks on my breasts or anything, but I know some people do get that. I've noticed my hormones can be a little crazy. I can get really offended very easily or very angry at the littlest things, so that's been, um, you know, coming and going. It's not constant, but it is there. I think that's kind of it. There's really not that much that happened this week. It's just the big thing is like I'm in the second trimester. My nausea is pretty much gone. I'm trying to avoid the coronavirus. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, they say the second trimester is um, uh, the easiest trimester of all three, which was true with my last pregnancy as well. So I'm just going to enjoy this nice time before the third trimester hits and I just get huge and enormous. I'm dreading the point where I get so big that, you know, I can't fit Gray on my lap or I can't, I don't want to pick him up all the time because he constantly wants to be held. That's going to be hard to deal with. But for now, um, everything's smooth sailing. Um, I have my doctor's appointment in like two weeks, so that'll be good. We'll hear our baby's heartbeat. I'll see how fast it is going. I've not, I mean, I've heard baby's heartbeat with the home doctor, but I've not heard it at the doctor's office yet, so that'll be exciting to do. And then also, end of this month, I scheduled an appointment to have an elective ultrasound so we can find out baby's gender. We will be doing a gender reveal on Easter. So I'm very excited to find out the gender so I can start planning everything out. I can plan out the nursery um, and know if I need to get clothes or if I'm good, <laughs> depending on the gender. So I'm very excited for that. I will definitely keep you guys updated, of course. Um, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. Um, give this video a like, a, a, a like. Uh, well, a like or a thumbs up. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.